You're watching the FM Jam TX3 Quick Start Guide. This short video will quickly get you up and playing your electric instrument using the TX3 and your FM radio or other amplification system. First, you'll need four AA batteries correctly inserted into the TX3. Remove the plastic battery cover, then insert the batteries as shown. The positive and negative terminals are indicated inside the battery case. Replace the battery cover and you're ready to use the TX3. Now let's look at the bottom of the TX3 where the input jacks are located. Starting on the right, you'll see the quarter inch jack labeled out. This is a stereo mono jack that is used as an output to your amplifier or PA. This jack also functions as the stereo headphone jack. If you insert a mono guitar cord into this jack, the TX3 knows it is mono and sends a mono signal for your amp or PA. When you insert a stereo plug into this jack, the TX3 senses the difference and the output is now stereo. The next jack on the left you see is the mini stereo input jack. This is where you plug in your iPod or other TX3 if you are chaining units together to transmit to one radio. Moving left, you see the guitar input. This is the main input for the TX3, and the unit will not turn on unless a quarter inch mono plug is inserted into this jack. The guitar input jack on the TX3 does not like stereo plugs, so be sure to only use mono plugs in this input or your unit may not turn on. The next input is the AC-DC power input. Your TX3 runs on batteries, but you can save battery life by using the FM Jam AC-DC adapter. Plug the adapter into any 110 wall outlet and the small power plug into this jack. The TX3 will power up as soon as you plug in this adapter. The last input you see on the left is the pedal jack. This is where you plug in your volume or wah pedal. Now let's get your TX3 fired up. Make sure you have an FM radio to test out your TX3. You can also use a guitar amp or even a PA system by simply plugging from the output of the TX3 into the input on those systems. For this quick start guide, however, we'll use an FM radio. First, plug one end of a guitar cable into your guitar and then plug the other end of the cable into the guitar input of the TX3. The TX3 turns on as soon as you plug it in and it is also automatically transmitting on FM radio station 88.1. There's no need to turn on any switches. Just plug it in and it lights up. Remember to unplug your TX3 when you're not using it. This will extend battery life. Turn on your FM radio and tune it to station 88.1 to match the transmitter frequency on your TX3. If the volume on your instrument is up and the volume on your radio is up, you should hear your guitar coming through the radio. You can change the FM frequency that you are broadcasting on anytime you want. We'll show you how to do that later. Whenever you plug an instrument cable into the TX3, you will see the large red display window light up and display the number 1. This means you are in performance mode and that your preset sound is number 1. The TX3 comes with 99 amazing preset sounds that combine a variety of special effects that you can access and customize. What is a preset sound? A preset is a group of special digital sound effects chained together to create a unique sound for your instrument. FM Jam has pre-programmed your unit with great sounds that can be modified in many different ways. We'll get deeper into that in another video. For now, let's see how to change presets and then go from effect to effect within each preset. To scroll through your presets, press the right being button you will see the numbers on the red display window increase each time you press the button. Each number represents a new preset. Try pressing the right beam button a few times and strum your guitar to see how it sounds. 
Then press the left bean button to decrease the numbers, going down the preset list. The top and bottom bean buttons are multifunctional and control both the master volume output and the volume for your stereo headphones if you are using them. You can plug your headphones with a quarter inch stereo jack into the jack labeled out when you want to listen to your jams in private. If you are using headphones with a mini plug, you'll need a stereo adapter. The top and bottom beam buttons also control the master volume output of your TX3 to your guitar amp or PA system. When in performance mode and plugged into an amp or PA, the top and bottom buttons will affect the output of all your presets. You can also control individual preset output levels when you enter the edit mode.